But as leaders of Kasese district, we are launching in our request that the, uh, the, the house of the king was demolished by bombs. Uh, the vehicle was shot at uh, uh, was shot at several times. So the vehicle is down and he has nowhere he's going to stay as he comes in terms of his residence. So we are requesting the government of Uganda to put in an effort of assuring that the king's house is constructed and the vehicles are replaced. As the central division, the community is very excited and very happy with that decision. Thank our president for the decision that has been taken to release our king, Musinga Wabusinga Warenzururu, and those who were already in jail concerning the same case that he had made the Musinga be held in jail for all this long time. We are so happy and we appreciate the judiciary of, of Uganda and the government of Uganda for being fair to our people and releasing our king and his subjects. Mood in Kasese is jubilation. Jubilation, jubilation, jubilation is what I see here. And I am glad that the people are not asking questions how, why, all they are concerned with is the freedom of our people and our king. That is what is paramount right now in Kasese. Me as a, a leader in Kasese Municipal Council and the Mkonjo, we are so grateful to hear good news that our king has been released. His judges has been dropped. In fact, us as the Mkonjo, Kasese Municipality in the, in the entire district and in the whole world at large because Wakonzo are in different places in Congo, in Cameroon, Botswana, wherever they are. We are so grateful to hear that our king has been released. For that, we thank the government, especially Yuri Kaguta Museven, His Excellency President of the Republic of Uganda, for having uh, that sympathy of thinking of Wakonjo and releasing our king. We are so happy, we are so happy. In fact, we are hopeful that even if need be, should even come in Kasese, come next week. We are so happy and we shall warmly welcome him.